as you know, with the resignation of the former opposition leader, Mark Bean, as a member of parliament for Warwick South Central constituency 26, there is scheduled to be a by-election on December 20th. To contest the election on that day, representing the One Bermuda Alliance, I'm very pleased this morning to introduce, along with my colleagues, our candidate, Ms. Robin Swan. And before Robin has the opportunity to say a few comments, let me add my comments to that. I have known Robin for more than a decade. I've always seen her as a very sincere, conscientious, compassionate, and kind person. She is someone who has always been community-minded. Some of you might be familiar with Robin through her work on the radio or as a DJ, or through her service early in our tenure as government on the Canvas Reform Collaborative. Most important, Robin served eight years with the Department of Corrections, an experience that I believe gave her a deep understanding of the inequities and the dysfunction that have affected the lives of many Bermudians. As Premier, I have had her perspective on these issues in our caucus room where they have helped, along with our rest of our colleagues, to contribute to our governance. And now with the vacancy in constituency 26, I believe it would benefit Bermuda for them also to be shared in the House representing the good people of Warwick South Central. Robin has thrown her hat into the ring for all the right reasons. She believes in the principles and the values that underpin the One Bermuda Alliance. Fairness, service, transparency, inclusiveness, and integrity. And she believes Bermuda's best future is built through healthy families, caring communities, and a playing field for one and all that is level. To the people of Warwick South Central, I can tell you in my own experience that Robin will be a representative who always listens, who cares, and communicates. She will be available, active, and when necessary, very forceful for the interests of the people that she represents. And finally, here are some other considerations I'd like to share with you. If you believe in workforce protection for Bermudian workers, if you believe in roadside testing to make our roads safer, if you believe in making our system of government more transparent and accountable, if you believe in decriminalizing possession of small amounts of cannabis to prevent unnecessary criminalization of our young Bermudians, if you believe in protecting our seniors and reducing the cost of living in long-term care, if you believe in, in easing the pressures on low-income earners through payroll tax reform, and if you believe in the economic recovery that must continue to reach across the island into every household, then Robin Swan is a candidate that you should vote for. I can vouch for her. She will carry the torch for positive change, helping Bermudians work together, build together, and rise together. So with those introductory comments, Robin, the podium is yours. Welcome to the candidacy for constituency 26, and I'm delighted to be here with the chair, Senator Woolwich, WARC representative, well, you represent all of Bermuda, Jeff, <laughs> constituency 28, MP Jeff Souza, and one of the youngest members of parliament, Mandy Outerbridge, who's joined us here to support this fine young candidate, a new person in politics, to bring a breath of fresh air. Robin, over to you. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming. Thank you, Premier Dunkley. Thank you, ministers and MPs, for joining us. My name is Robin Elaine Swan, and I am honored to announce myself as the candidate for constituency 26 Warwick South Central. Although most of my childhood was spent in the United States, I have fond memories of Orge Road, an area that I still consider my home. Many of those memories include racing bikes to the rubber tree, <laughs> <laughs> buying Simmons chocolate pops at Hayward's, and playing cricket every good Friday religiously at the PHC field. My connection to the West End runs deep in my veins, and I am determined to represent Warwick South Central. I have canvassed the area for the past few weeks, and thank you, thank you all of you for inviting me into your home. Thank you for your kind words and your insightful information. Thank you for sharing your views. I too have concerns for our area and for Bermuda. 
And as many of you have stated correctly, it is time for us to get back to basics. As a blue collar worker and mother, I too am directly affected by the decisions that are made on the Hill. That is why I have decided to mature from behind the party scenes and graduate into the public arena. Bermuda, we are turning the corner. Our government, our government is working hard to put us back on our feet. Our economy is finally growing. Jobs are being created. Investor confidence has risen. And opportunities are returning. All signs that we are finally getting back on our feet. The One Bermuda Alliance, as myself, embraces diversity, opportunities, inclusiveness, and service. Although myself, I am not a perfect person, but I do try my best to uphold those values. And I have dedicated my life to preserving them. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Premier Dunkley, for your faith in me all these years. And I will represent Ward South, South Central to the best of my ability. I am officially ready uh, to defend and honor this island. Amen. Okay. Any questions from the member of the media? Ms. Swan, what is it that prompted you to run as a candidate in constituency number 26, which is considered a PLP stronghold? One might have thought a more seasoned politician would have been put to try and wrest that seat from the opposition. Uh, to be honest, uh, a lot of people have their view, but um, I'm from Ordred, and I can't see myself uh, representing anyone else other than the people that help rear me. Um, I love being an Eastern Islander, and I'm sorry, a Western, I'm sorry, nervous, <laughs> a Western Islander, and I would really like to put a best foot forward to represent the people of that constituency. What have you been hearing from the residents, from the voters in that constituency, in terms of what their concerns might be? A lot of the concerns have been with the <clears throat> railway trails, uh, the debris that uh, they feel has been left for several years that could be cleared out and that the railway trails can be utilized more effectively for public use and transportation. Um, also that uh, the baby boomer generation uh, has a great concern for cost of medication. Um, and, and that, uh, you know, the general uh, issues about our education and our economy, but uh, this party is working very hard to get us back on the right track. One of the, one of the, the initiatives outlined in the fluent speech this year was the development or redevelopment of the White Hill field. I think that was part of the effort to get uh, voters in that area to, to change where they put their X come the by-election. Gary, I think that uh, question should be better put to me because White Hill is not in constituency 26. As a man who lives in Devonshire, maybe you need a geography lesson. <laughs> for Gary, for enough. Let, me just, let me just answer um, your earlier question in regards to uh, seasoned political experience and we expected that type of question um, but you have to start somewhere and in my comments I refer to the time that Robin like many other people has put into our caucus room and so I believe she has cut her teeth she's seen the ebb and flow of the healthy conversation and the diverse opinions we have in the room and the people talk about politics and they want change they want improvement they want us to rise up together these are the type of people you need to bring into politics to help the experienced people move along. And Robin has proven that she has the aptitude, she has the, the effort to stay at the game, and she has the personality to get involved in politics. So I'm excited that Robin has come forward. We know it's, it's going to be a tough battle, um, but this young lady has, has shown her dedication to it. Uh, she always wanted to run there, even before the by-election. So this is not something new, and she's been out there canvassing. So, this is an exciting, fresh change, and I think it's good for the political landscape in Bermuda. And I urge the people of 26, don't go out and do what you always do. Think about it very clearly, because we are moving forward, but we have a tremendous amount of work left to be done. And to bring change, you need to have a breath of fresh air from time to time. And this young lady helps bring that to the table. So she's got a lot of work ahead of her, and we'll be out there as a team to support her.
I mean, when you see this as a bellwether um, by election, the results will give you some indication about where you take the date for the next election? Oh, no, not at all. Um, I've already set the date for the next election, but I'm not telling it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Gary tried that the other day. I'm not answering that. Look, we have work to do. Uh, and I've always said from the time that I became Premier that we had work to do and we're not going to call a snap election. So right now is not the time for the election with all the important stuff that we have to get done. Again, legislation, St. George's, the airport, the budget next year is very important. We are making significant progress and we need to get these things done. This election will be a bellwether for the PLP only because this is all upside for us. This is a constituency that, that uh, the One Bermuda Alliance has uh, didn't fare well in the last election, in spite of having a very good candidate in Ross McAlder. This is a constituency that has had the former leader of the opposition, that had a premier of Bermuda in it. And uh, we know that we're gonna go out and we're gonna be very competitive, but it's theirs to lose. Uh, it's ours to make some progress. And we're very confident about our candidate here because uh, Robin is committed and she has something to offer.